Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching today. This is going to be the December 2021 uh, general reading for the zodiac sign Aquarius. Um, my readings are very intuitive so any intuitive messages that I receive I'll be sure to share those with you as well. And as always if this message doesn't resonate with you I do encourage you to check out your sun moon and rising. But that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In the first column, we're going to take a look at what's happened in the last few weeks, what happened in November for you. In the second column, we're going to take a look at what's coming for the month of De December. In the third column, we are going to take a look at money, career, finances. In the fourth column, we're going to take a look at love, relationships, family. And then in the fifth and final column, we're going to take a look um, at any messages from your future self or your spirit guides. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and jump in. We're going to pull an affirmation card, but it's also going to serve as a summary. The card you have is I am treasured, Aquarius. So definitely feeling treasured in November. That's a great feeling. Maybe some of you have family in town. Uh, maybe you are really feeling your own self-worth. Let's go ahead and pull some cards though and see where this takes us. The first card that we have is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles um, is sometimes ill health. Uh, it could be worry, isolation, some financial struggles. So some of you might not have been feeling your best in November. Uh, maybe you had some financial hiccups in November. Maybe you're kind of worried going into that holiday season. Let's see where this takes us, though. Um, it feels like there was a positive shift, so I feel like we were going out of a low spot, Aquarius, into better times. But of course, we'll clarify that. The next card that we have is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of teamwork, um, expansion, travel, um, again, I'm getting that some of you might have had family coming in, visiting you, maybe you did some traveling to visit family, um, but that Three of Wands, very much so a partnership card, a teamwork card, so some of you might have found yourself in that position, also a card of expansion, so there could have been expansion for some of you, Aquarius. The next card that we have is the Temperance card, so the Temperance card is very much so about balance, harmony, patience, self-control, moderation, with the water pouring between the two cups. So this is finding kind of a fine balance, very well balanced um, time for you. Let's clarify these and see where this takes us. So we do have two pinnacle cards coming through here, um, and it was on a pinnacle card. Pentacles are very much so earth energy um, and very much physical type things. So just keep that in mind as we go through that reading here. So we have your Ace of Pentacles. So this is like a new job. This is a raise, a promotion, some sort of investment or new income. For those of you that were financially struggling, there is some sort of shift that's going to take you out of that struggle away from that illness, that poverty. Um, so something new came in for you, Aquarius, in, in November. So it's very, very exciting. You will be treasured um, in whatever this new path is. The Seven of Pentacles is very much so a waiting card. So with the Seven of Pentacles, this is like patience, it's hard work, but it's delayed success. You planted your Pentacles and you've been waiting for them to come to fruition. So there's very well something that you've probably been waiting for, Aquarius, that I think you've now received. Uh, but what I'm getting in November, there was a period of waiting. That's on top of that Three of Wands. So this does feel a lot like new work for some of you or new income. Um, and that makes sense with this kind of collaborative teamwork card. Um, travel as well. Maybe some of you are waiting to actually get to travel. And then on top of our Temperance card, we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is my favorite card in the deck. I know they say that all the time, but it is my absolute favorite. It's a family card. It's contentment. It's total love and sport. We have the rainbow full of cups. The grass is green. There's flowing water. There's a house in the background. A happy couple. Kids playing. It's really the card of everything. Again, I'm feeling that some of you were visited by family or got to visit family. 
Um, but very, very fulfilling contentment. So this was a good shift for you, Aquarius, that happened in November. Something you had been waiting for, some sort of newness. It's going to take you away from this low spot with the Five of Pentacles into a much better place with our Ten Cups. And that's on top of Temperance, very beautifully paired together, the two of them. That's that balance, that harmony. Your patience has paid off. Um, everything kind of coming into play. Let's take a look at what's coming for you in no, or excuse me, in December. I am bonded. So this is oftentimes a connection between um, others around you. You could be a bonded pair with one of your pets, your spouse, your family, your children um, bonded. So make sure that you're focusing on those connections as we move into December um, and really highlighting them and taking care of those around you. We have two Ace of Pentacles right in a row there, so definitely something new coming in for some of you. This feels like a really good shift on the money front or new job front, um, but let's go ahead and read through these. So again, that Ace of Pentacles, the card of newness, you have them right next to each other. Um, again, some of you might have had a new job, a raise, promotion, something of that sort. Definitely a good way to kick off December for you there. Followed by the strength card. Always love the strength card too. Um, we have the infinity sign there, that kind of never ending energy. Um, but strength is self love, it's unconditional love, it's self respect, courage. Maybe some of you are taking on something new, so you're having courage to take on something new. But overall, the strength card's a great one to have. You really persevere and push through whatever is going on. Then we have the Ace of Cups, another new card. Anytime we have an Ace of anything, it's newness. Um, so with the Ace of Cups, for some of you, this could be a new baby, this could be a new relationship, proposal, marriage. Um, so there's a lot of new energy coming in for you in December is what I'm getting. Um, maybe that new relationship, you'll be bonded with this person, a new baby, you'll obviously be bonded with that baby, um, and some strength. So new strength, new. Let's clarify and see what we get here. <laughs> Another ace card. I think you're going to get all the aces in this reading here. So we have the judgment card. The judgment card is pretty much something that is ending in your favor. Um, this is clarity. It could be a final decision. It could be a wake-up call. It's very fulfilling. It's also like knowing your life's purpose. Um, so whatever this new thing that came in, it was the right decision. You're going to have clarity. It's going to be very fulfilling for your life's purpose. Um, so whatever this new with this Ace of Pentacles was a great move for you. We have the Six of Pentacles. This is giving or receiving help. It's kind of the generosity card. Um, so maybe you're feeling support in a way you haven't been supported before. Maybe a family member is caring for you, or vice versa, maybe you're taking care of somebody in your family, but it's a card of major generosity. Um, and that's on top of the self-love card, the unconditional love, self-respect. So this is a very loving, endearing, supportive relationship that's either giving or receiving for you. Then we have the Ace of Swords. This is again a card of new, so you have new on top of new. This is new idea new mental clarity. Um, clarity came up already in the reading too with that judgment card. So you're going to be seeing very clearly um, as we move into December with this new thing. It's going to be quite fulfilling. It's going to provide you new clarity, new ideas. So very exciting uh, going into December. Let's take a look at career, finances, money, um, if you own your own business, any investments you may have. This column is going to be all about that money type stuff. The first card that we have is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very studious. This is very hard working. Um, this could be new love though. So maybe some newness into your work world, finance world as well. Makes sense with the full card following. Um, but with this Page of Cups, this also could be volunteering. Some of you might find yourself that you're volunteering some as we go into the end of the year. Um, that's always great, too. That is the card of volunteering, though. We have the Fool card next. This is like the ultimate new beginning. This is fresh hope. This is taking a chance, a new path. 
um, some sort of very adventurous beginning. With the Major Arcana cards in the tarot deck, you kind of go through this entire life cycle as you go through the Major Arcana, and then you come back to the Fool and it all starts over again. So very much so new beginning. So two new cards there. You had some new energy cards as well. Then we have the Six of Swords. People always think that this card is kind of sad. I personally like the Six of Swords. This is a necessary change. So you see the sword sticking into the boat. The people are looking kind of sad. Their heads are hanging low, but they're moving on to something new. So this was transitioning you into something new and into something wonderful. Um, in some cases, this can be a physical move too. So some of you could be moving or relocating, um, but this is transitioning you also into new. So a lot of newness coming in on the work front Aquarius. Let's clarify these. The first card that we have is the star card. The star card is renewal, it's hope, it's inner clarity. This can also be like the miracle card um, for some. This could also be spotlight. So you could be being highlighted at work for your hard work, um, being kind of in the spotlight, being recognized for all that you do. That's on top of our page of cups, so, which is like that very studious, um, or if you do volunteer, it seems like you'll be recognizing for that volunteer work. But it's like you're being recognized for the hard work that you're doing. And then that star also could be newness. So some sort of shift in work happening for you. Some sort of renewal. Looking at our next card, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a great card. It's a luxury card. It's self-sufficiency, financial gain. Um, so for whatever this changes, um, new investment, new job, I do think it'll be very financially beneficial to you, Aquarius. Um, this is definitely a money card, a financial gain card, a luxury card. Um, great to have in your money column. Then we have the Two of Cups. This is a very romantic card almost. It's a loving card. It's partnership. It's proposal. It's marriage. Um, I would say that this is going to take you to a new relationship, a very strong new relationship. Um, this new proposal, this new shift is going to be quite beneficial for you. Very strong. Next up, let's take a look at our love, family, relationship column here and see what we get. The first card that we have is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a very fast talking person, um, but it also indicates like a lifestyle change. Um, so some of you might feel like your relationship is moving really fast right now. Um, maybe the world is just moving really fast for you. Um, with the Knight of Swords, it also just kind of indicates some sort of shift. Um, lifestyle change, we'll see if we can clarify that and see what messages come through. Then we have the Six of Wands. Love the Six of Wands. This is a very celebratory card. It's victory, award, recognition, good news, success. Um, so for those of you in a relationship right now, I would say it is very successful. It's feeling rewarding. It might be moving fast, but overall it seems to be good. For those of you looking for somebody new too, I would say that that new relationship is going to come and it's going to come quite quickly. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. You've had the Six of Pentacles one other time in this reading. This is again giving or receiving. It's a generosity card. Having that fine balance. I feel like this is important to keep in mind in a relationship column of like give and take. So be balancing your work life and your home life and your needs and your partner's needs. Um, so this is all about balancing and finding that perfect kind of moderation and balance in a relationship. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards and see where this takes us. So we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very bold card. It's leadership, it's power, it's charm, it's courage. Um, so I would say that this relationship is very charming, it's very powerful. Some of you might be like the power couple. Um, but again, with this, it's on top of that lifestyle change. This could be a shift into a powerful relationship or a shift into a very charming relationship. So make sure you have that courage to take that plunge if that's what you're interested in. 
another king card. Um, it's a very, very strong energy here, but we have our king of swords. This is a very intentional card, um, very strategic and thoughtful. Um, so very like, I would say long-term stable relationship coming through with this card um, with our king of swords. Very strategic, very thought out. And that was on top of our six of wands, which is like victorious, uh, good news, successful. So I would say this is gonna be successful long-term relationship here. The way over three of pentacles, this is about teamwork, collaboration. Um, so I think this is a very collaborative relationship. Maybe finding this balance, it's like ask for what you need, be clear with your expectations, and just talk out to find this balance in the relationship. But I think it's definitely the potential for it is there. That's going to drop us into our last column here. Let's pull an affirmation card. So this may be a message from your future self or spirit guides. We have, I feel peaceful. That's wonderful. Um, ending the year on a very calm, peaceful note. Who wouldn't love that? Um, make sure you're finding your inner peace. Make sure you're being your own peace, Aquarius, as we move through the end of the year. Let's pull some cards underneath to clarify to see what we have going on. Okay. The first card that we have in this row is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can sometimes be feeling betrayed or there's some sort of dishonesty or it's kind of like a card of running away from something. Um, so this is interesting. We'll clarify this definitely. But this person's like, I'm going to pack up my swords and I'm just going to sneak out of here. Um, so I feel like we're moving away from something. Hopefully when you move away from this, this is going to give you some sort of peace that you haven't had. Of course, we'll clarify the world card, wonderful. Um, this column in general, even with the Seven of Swords, looks very, very strong. So with the world card, this is like kind of the everything card also. Um, very, very beneficial. This is like completing a lesson. This could be travel again, but it's really like completing things going full circle. Um, so maybe something has come full circle and you can now be peaceful. You've acknowledged everything that's happened. You've completed the lesson or whatever kind of stage of life you're in. Then we have the Four of Wands. Very interesting following the World card. This is like a homecoming celebration, family, friends, reunion. So definitely I think some of you will be seeing family this month of December, which makes total sense with the holidays. Um, but this is a very homey family type card um, celebrating reunion. And hopefully that reunion seeing family will provide you peace as well. Let's clarify and see what we have here. So we've had the temperance card twice now, but let's go and read through these. So we have the lover's card. Lover's card is always a good card. This is partnership. This is deep love. It could sometimes also be a choice. Um, so I would say that like you've been kind of running from this relationship. Again, it was moving very fast, but I do think it's strong and I'm getting that you're going to find peace in your relationship, um, which is always a great thing. So definitely having peace in your relationship. The next card that we have is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the Prince Charming card. It's very romantic. It's proposal. Um, so some of you might be getting a proposal in the month of December, which is very exciting. It's on top of that world card, which would be completing something. So maybe this is completing dating and moving to a more serious relationship, moving into marriage. Um, it's completion and moving on to something new or taking the next stop, step there. Then we have the temperance card. The temperance card is balance, harmony, it's patience, it's self-control, it's very moderation, you know, balancing the water between the two cups. Um, so I think you'll find good balance in being with your family and in these celebrations and in these reunions. Um, very peaceful, very balanced. So at this time, if you still have remaining questions, I do like to pull three cards for yes or no answers. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck for that. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video really quick um, and think of these three questions. But I will pull cards and give you a short and sweet yes or no answer. So for question number one, we have the Five of Spades. This is the number six card. The answer is going to be no. 
For question number two, we have the three of hearts. This is the number one card, and I would say this is a yes. For question number three, we have the queen of diamonds. This is the number 12 card. This is going to be a yes as well, so no, yes, yes. I do also like to pull a crystal each month. So if you're like me and you really like crystals, this gives you an opportunity. Um, this is a crystal for you to carry throughout the month with you. Um, keep it on your nightstand, put it on your desk at work, keep it in your pocket. But I am gonna pull from this Healing Stones deck. So let's see what we come up with here. The stone for you this month is Amber. This is about creativity and warmth. It helps you connect with your inner child. Um, it's childish, childish candor, happiness, joy of life. So keep that amber close by. And then last but not least, I'm also going to pull you a card from the Healing Notes deck of cards. We always can use a little bit more healing in life. Let's see what we have here. Somehow in the midst of struggle, life finds its way to take care of you when you open yourself to receiving healing and all will be well. Thank you so much Aquarius for watching. Please do like, subscribe, comment, let me know how this video resonates with you. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be notified when I post new videos. Um, but thank you again so much for watching. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box um, if you would like to make a donation. But thank you so much Aquarius and finish out December strong.